Okay, I'm going to show you a few more magic tricks that you could do. And remember, you're just going to keep doing these broadcasts for whatever your spell is. So I'm going to, we're just going to have her, I'm going to bring out several of these talks so that way I don't have to keep moving back up here. So now I'm going to come back over here to broadcast. So I'm going to say broadcast and I want to wait two seconds. So probably a a good time to wait. So I'm going to say broadcast and then I'm going to pick a different spell. So this time I'm going to say levitate. And so levitate would mean going up and down. So I'm going to come over here when I receive levitate. Then I can, I'm just going to say, I'm going to just move him up just a little bit, like all the way up there. So I'm going to say glide to the new position. And then I'm going to have him glide back down to the starting position. So now I'm going to retype that 148 and negative 99. So let's see what this one looks like. So here we go. goes up and then comes down. So that one was a pretty easy one. And so on the next one, you could... Oh, I forgot to say that one here. So we want to make sure she says it so that way it looks like it's a magic trick. Okay, so then I'm going to come back over here and we're going to wait. i am try to keep it consistent with the two seconds. Say the next spell. So maybe the next spell I want it to um, change into a new character. So I'm going to say change. So this one's super fun. So under this one, I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to say, under the costumes, he has all these elves. So I don't want him. You could even use that to be happy or use a spell. But I'm going to use this to get rid of these. And I'm going to come over here. And I'm just going to pick something that maybe you could turn him into. I always think of wizards turning things into frogs. So I'm just going to get a little frog there. Okay, and I'm... Okay, and I'm going to, because I want this frog to be bigger, I'm just going to make it bigger here, drag it here. So now it looks like he's a bigger frog. So now I'm going to go back to my code, and she said change. And so then remember, I have to broadcast change. So come back over here. I'm going to say broadcast change, new message. And so then I'm going to come back over here. So now, because I have a change, I need to remember at my very beginning, how do I want it to start? I want it to switch the costume to the elf. So now I'm going to say, when I receive, when I receive change, I'm going to say, switch the costume not the not the backdrop and that could be one of your spells too. switch the backdrop to something else um, so I'm gonna say switch the costume to frog and then I want to wait a second maybe two seconds and then I'm going to come back and say change the costume back to the elf And so now it looks like you've got several. This is one of those really cool projects that you can be as creative as you want. Change backgrounds, change sprites, um, move, um, twirl, spin. One of the other, a lot of the fun things you could do would be over here where you said change the color. They have all of these that you could do. You could change it to a mosaic or whirl it or fish eye it or change the brightness. All of these would be good spells to do as well, which would kind of follow this one right here. Or if you wanted them to glide to random positions, then you could say glide to a random position and repeat it so many times. Um, you could have it, um, other options you could do, you could say change the size, and then you'd say wait a couple of seconds and then change the size back. So you could say change it by 100 and then wait a second, negative 100. So many choices on this. I hope, I, I can't wait to see your creative projects.